Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a Cephalotus update. I have my Cephalotus divided into the greenhouse and the grow chamber downstairs. So we are downstairs today because these ones are looking pretty awesome. They are under the Mars Hydro 192 reflector light and yeah, they're doing fabulous under here. I have half in the greenhouse and half in here just to kind of compare the difference and um, boy there's lots of color in here for sure. So much requested Steph Lotus update coming up right now. Okay so like I said we are under the Mars Hydro 192. It's on right now. It's really bright. I do have a lens on the camera to give you more true colors because it gets all skewed on video otherwise. So you should be seeing the colors that I'm seeing right now. And yeah, I have a, a couple trays worth of Cephalotus in here anyways. And then the other half of my collection is in the greenhouse. But I will say um, they're mixed match colors right now because I moved some of the smaller ones back there into, that sh into the shaded area and moved some of the um, green ones that were shaded just um, outwards so you can kind of see the difference between when the the light is hitting them directly compared to when they're more shaded the, the difference in color is just amazing so I don't know we're gonna make this a quick video this one was definitely shaded but um, looking really good I really like it when the pictures um, when the lids go straight up on them now if you remember my video updates just of the cephalotus in the past um, i haven't done a big cephalotus update for a while i did something new with them this fall i put them out in my temperate greenhouse like all of them the ones in the um lowland or in the highland greenhouse right now and in the grow chamber they all went outside i wanted to try to give them a bit of a real dormancy because i've only ever had about 12 celsius or 55 fahrenheit so i let them basically get frost it made the pictures look horrible and rough like this guy here. He looks all weathered and gross. Um, he's lost all his shine to him. But, um, and some pictures died right back. A lot of it did honestly died right back, but they came back super strong. So that was, um, and they're coming back strong in here and in the greenhouse. But I wanted to see what the difference, um, a nice cold fall would make for these guys. But let's um, keep moving. So this, this one here is a North Cliff. And it has no color right now. But um, it must have been just in the shaded area. As I say, I just moved some around. Here is some just typicals. Look at how red that is. That's awesome. These guys have been growing out here the whole time. Here's a two people's bay that's like really, really dark. And another typical there. Looking good though. Really colorful. Nice. Tons of growth on these guys. Here are a few Harmer's Giants. They're just coming back. Um, nice adult picture starting on that but they're small because the light is intense so a nice shaded Hummer's Giant is going to be bigger than um, one that's in like full light these guys are looking fabulous right here lots of new growth underneath huge pictures on that that's a big picture I also apologize if I th sound kind of sick I'm just getting over quite a bad um, cold so my voice is kind of funny my little Eden Black there is um no blacker than any of the other ones, but that guy's looking really nice and red. So the difference in teeth, though, compared to some of these in, in some of these clones, like this one has very small teeth. What are we looking at here? This is just a typical. So then we look at the North Cliff here, and it's got much bigger teeth. And two people's bay here, bigger teeth. This guy is what is this one? This is a coal mine beach. Those are really nice pictures. Look at that. That is some nice pictures on that guy. This one's sort of just a, a, like a big clump. It, it was outside with the rest. And some of the old pictures look kind of peakish. But um, all in all, they're coming back like that is nice. It's got a very wide mouth and a very narrow body to it. And so some of these guys I pulled out of the shade. It's funny, this guy here last week... He was like facing, he was about here, but he was facing this way. And he was completely purple. And then I would turn him like this. And he was like totally green on this side. Just because it was the shaded side. So I moved him this way. And he's kind of getting a, 
a bit more color on both sides now. This particular one looks nice. I like the way this one opens. This one opens with very green yellow teeth and then they, they turn more red as time goes on, but it's very nice. That is a red form from Tariff Park. Very nice plant though. I really like those. So what else? And this is just the typical. And again, you can tell kind of by maybe some smaller teeth on it. Not quite so uh, intense a teeth on typicals compared to some of the other forms maybe. But yeah, and then there's just some small seedlings and stuff like that back here. Not much to really look at. A um, couple of nice little Hummer Giants coming along. There's a Hummer's Giant too. Again, it's so dark. It doesn't even, like I always think of Hummer's Giants as green and definitely not green, but nice and healthy anyways, nonetheless. So yeah, they are doing really, really well under um, these lights. I love the intensity. I think I bumped the microphone. I love the intensity of the color here. And it's interesting what um, shade will do for the color of the plants, right? Just having them off to one side, semi-shaded, makes all the difference. So anyways, yeah, cephalotas are looking good. I apologize, this is only half my collection. The other half is in the greenhouse, as I say. But um, maybe next time we do a greenhouse tour, I will show you those guys as well. So anyways, um, what else can I tell you before I go? I use the tray system for watering. You can see they're dripping right now, but there's not much water in the tray. I'll leave another day or two before I water. Then I put in about a centimeter and um, let it evaporate again. I do um, a little bit of fuller feeding with some Max C. I do the occasional Osmocote pellet in there. Temperature is currently in here, 85.7 Fahrenheit, so pretty warm. The thermometer is a little bit higher than um, these are, so it can take off a few degrees maybe. But it gets quite warm. It's like summertime in here, which is really different than the greenhouse outside too because the greenhouse outside is definitely not summertime, the Highland greenhouse. So they're not getting highs anywhere near this outside, even though they're not in the temperate greenhouse anymore. But yeah, so there we go. A much requested cephalotus update. I wish I had time to like turn them all so we get angles on all of them like this but um i just simply don't lots of new growth on that one there coming out nicely very colorful lid on that one Ooh, that's a beautiful plant right there too a beautiful picture very colorful so anyways i hope you guys like this video and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel bottom line here i think light definitely makes the difference for these guys holy cow little cheap compact fluorescent things are not the answer the ones in the greenhouse don't look like this at all. Anyways, bye guys.